Well, here's two mobile homes that the guys are working on setting in place right now. They're uh, right next to each other. And uh, when you're in a rural community, obviously you can see this is rural. This is not city streets. It's on a dirt road, but uh, there are a lot of mobile homes in these subdivisions. Uh, where we luck out here is we have the electricity and the power is running down our side of the street. So if we had a home across the street, then they would have to do like they did with this neighbor over here. There actually is a neighbor buried in those trees. They ran a wire across the road to another pole they had to put in the ground, and then they ran a trench over to his house to feed the meter. So this, because we have two homes side by side that we're putting in, we happen to have this power pole right out here. So we're gonna call Florida Power and Light and ask them if they would just simply give us a transformer on this one pole, and that way we can trench underground from the base of this pole right here to feed that home over there with a pedestal we'll put there and that home over there. Again, I told you in previous videos, I hate wires that swag over to the home. That thing would be swinging in a hurricane like we just had three days ago. <laughs> I wanna see these wires buried. So we're gonna attach the wire to the pole and the electrician is gonna trench it all the way back to a meter he's gonna put there and another meter he'll put there. So something to take into consideration. Sometimes you, you take for granted electricity, you just figure everyone's got it, but when there's no electricity here pre-existing, then you gotta figure out where it's gonna come from and how you're gonna get it to your home. So that's your little mobile home tip for today. We're putting a pedestal right over there and a pedestal right over there with that, behind that Jeep. As soon as we figure out that FPNL will give us a transformer right up there. Over and out.